The province announced another strategy to tackle the soaring cost of electricity. Ontario is immediately pulling the plug on renewable energy projects. Mark Carcassol joins us live from Queen's Park with what it means for your monthly hydro bill. Mark. Carolyn, this is really a stark change for the province of Ontario. We live in a province that has very much built its electricity platform on renewable energy. And to hear that, uh, I guess, further procurement of it is just going to be cut off. That is a very big change. Now, today, Ontario Energy Minister Glenn Tebow announced that while it'll continue to honor all deals already in place, the province will, as you mentioned, put a halt on the purchase of any new renewable energy. Tebow says the system has plenty of energy to last us over the next decade or so. So they're scaling back now. They claim that'll not only save the province billions, but the average homeowner a little more than a cup of coffee per month. Every opportunity that I find to uh, make savings for consumers, we will make that. And this is a $3.8 billion savings. And when you look at that for every consumer in the province, that's $2.45. So when you start adding together all of the savings that we're bringing forward for consumers, it's starting to become more and more significant. So if it's $0.50 cents or $50, I'll continue to try and find ways to, uh, to help put downward pressure on rates. Now, this is a move that many people will say comes kind of late. People have been telling the province for years that they have more capacity to create energy than they do to actually use it. So a lot of people see a move like this as being a long time coming. This is the province's second uh, money-saving initiative uh, when it comes to energy. Obviously, the Premier, Kathleen Wynne, announced during her throne speech that uh, there is also an 8% rebate on hydro bills coming soon. Uh, but uh, again, there's a lot of people who just say that initiatives like this are too little too late at this point.